Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. We got today is another unboxing video. This is for the Phantasm uh, Arrow Video box set. Uh, got this from Amazon. Obviously, this box isn't in exactly great shape, but you know, it is what it is. Um, some people may be wondering why I went with the Arrow box set and not the, you know, the Wellgo release and it's quite simple really the Welgo is out of print and I am not willing to pay what people are asking for it so here we go phantasm box set what's neat about this also though is this was uh, 30 pounds so that's what even reckon it at double $60 at the most and you know you get a cool box with it and stuff um, I've seen other people unbox this, so I know the sphere replica that comes with it isn't the, the greatest quality. But, like I said, you know, I'm not going to pay the the hundreds that some people are asking for the, for the Welgo release. And from what I've seen also, the, the standalone Welgos of um, parts 3 and 4 are really bare bones almost don't have all the special features on it so I was like no screw that so here we go <laughs> and there we go come here uh, the sphere you know what it's funny people have always said you know that it's not the greatest quality I, I get what they're saying. It's kind of like a Christmas ornament type level quality, but that's still pretty damn cool, I gotta say. You know, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I'd heard a lot of bad about it, so hold on, let's get here and pull this out and get to the actual meat and potatoes, I think. So yeah, there's the, the sphere on a little foam holder thing, kind of cool. Now, I'll start with this the book first. You got this, wow, big-ass book. Uh... It's quite thick. How many pages is that? Does it say? A uh, hundred and fifty page book. Loaded with uh, information about all the different movies and everything. Really cool. And now on to the movies themselves. These are kind of interesting because of the way they're packaged. And uh, they're not in standard... Uh, Blu-ray cases, they're kind of in these like these CD, like, digi-sleeves, almost. So you got part one, and, uh, you know, all the disc art's the same, and the interior art, so I'll just show you one there. But, part one. Come here. Part two. Hold on. Yeah, it's the same art on the inside. Part three. Part four. Part five. And the bonus disc. So yeah, you know, um, it's a much more affordable option if you're if if you can play like region b stuff i'm quite sure this is probably region b locked i would assume so but um you know if you can play it it's definitely much more affordable than the wellgo box set and uh oh well um feature wise i mean it's loaded i'll just go through them here um Let's see here. All five movies together on Blu-ray. Limited edition bonus disc. 
featuring exclusive features. English subtitles on everything, 152 page book with writings and everything. Um, newly commissioned artwork by Gary Pullen, so that's always a good thing. Uh, so for uh, Phantasm 1, you get it's the remaster of the recently remastered one. So um, you get the Los Angeles premiere experience. Join the audience of diehard fans as they experience their starred classic for the first time. Audio commentary with Don Coscarelli and A. Michael Baldwin, Bill Thornbury and Angus Scrim. Uh, Reflections of Fear, Realizing Phantasm, new featurette. Uh, Q&A from the premiere of the remaster and uh, Ravager. Uh, behind the scenes with optional audio commentary. TV interviews with Don Coscarelli and Angus Scrim, deleted scenes. Original trailer, TV and radio spots, and still gallery. That's just all on part one, so I don't know how that stacks up with the well go, but I'm quite pleased with it. <laughs> Next up, uh, Phantasm 2 has audio commentary Don Coscarelli, Angus Scrim, and Reggie Bannister. Reflections of Fear, you know, uh, the second part of the featurette. Uh, the Ball is Back. Um, making of documentary, the gory days, archived interviews with effects artist Greg Nicotero, behind the scenes, deleted and workplace scene, work, work print scenes, Angus Scrim Fangoria convention appearances and TV spots, original trailer and TV spots and still gallery. Part three has uh, audio commentary with uh, A. Michael Baldwin and um, Angus Scrim, Reflections of Fear, the third part of the featurette. Behind the scenes with optional commentary, deleted scenes, original trailer, still gallery. Part 4, Oblivion, as commentary Don Coscarelli and Angus Scrim and Reggie Bannister again. Fourth part of the Reflections of Fear featurette. Uh, behind the scenes, original trailer, promo, still gallery. And then uh, Ravager, part 5, has uh, the Los Angeles premiere experience. It's, you know, the same sort of thing as it was with uh, with part one. It's uh, you're experiencing it from with with the people, I guess. Um, audio commentary with David Hartman, director, and Don Coscarelli. Reflections of Fear again, the last part of it, I guess. Uh, Q and A from 2016 Austin premiere. Behind the scenes, deleted scenes, commentary, bloopers and outtakes, original trailer. Phantasm and You, a light-hearted recap of Phantasm 1 to 4, made by David Hartman. Okay. Then we got the the bonus disc. It has a Phantasmagoria, feature-length documentary covering Phantasms 1 to 4. Phantasmagorial Mystery Tour. Uh, location Tour, hosted by Reggie Bannister. Tall Tales featurette with Angus Scrim. Dear Angus, a tribute to Angus Scrim. Uh, Phantasm Genesis featurette, uh, looking at some key stunt sequences, and Fandom featurette, looking at the enduring nature of the Phantasm fandom. So damn, that's, uh, that's actually quite loaded, honestly. Um, like I said, I know there are some differences with, um, like the Wellgo release. It has, uh... I think it has a few more commentaries, like a few, like some like archival commentaries as well as, I don't think there's any new ones, but you know, it, it would have been nice to have had all of those as well, but, um, you know what, like I said, I'm, I'm not paying what people are asking for the, for the Wellgo set over here now, um, you know, for one thing, Logo should have uh, released more. You know, when they had the, the chance. You know, when they uh, when they first did when they first released, it, they should have made more releases. Honestly, um, it sold out pretty quick. Honestly, from what I remember. Um, but I'm quite happy with this. I've always been a, a fan of Arrow video stuff, so. <laughs> and that's actually kind of cool, that, that Phantasm Ball. Let's see, get that in there. 
<laughs> so yeah, and uh, well, I guess I'll finish off the box as well. Got artwork. So yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with this. Um, would it have been better to have got the Welgo? I would have liked to have had the Welgo, honestly. But like I said, I'm not paying that. Uh, people can, you know, limited editions and everything are all fine. But um, you know, don't shit on people for uh, taking a more affordable option. Yeah, so there we go. Phantasm Arrow box set. Good stuff. Um, I'll leave the links down in the description to my Patreon and my merch shop. If you feel like helping out the channel, it would be appreciated. If not, that's fine as well. You know, it's all good. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. See you next time.